from the natural lifestyles. Like I've said hundreds of times, I feel like I've said that line so many times that you guys are just like, oh, stop saying that line. Well, I have to keep saying it because I got to let you know what company I'm a part of. Before I get into the law of attraction and you know why it's changed my life and why I think it's the most amazing thing for anybody to follow, I want you to understand these videos that I put out, the mix-up videos of the week, the Tony Solo mix-up videos of the week with the fucking groovy music in the beginning. These videos are not about pickup. They're not about open relationships. They're not about relationships. They're not about anything that got to do with women. The reason why is because my brain just went a little bit off because I know that sometimes I do talk about women in these videos, these mix-up videos, but mainly I will not talk about women in these videos. I will never do that because I've made it the mix up video of the week because I want you guys to understand that life is about being a seductive man, but at the same time having a life that is outside of seduction, which means that being a seductive man and always going around and being a man that can seduce all situations, that's amazing. It is. And you'll constantly be doing that when you learn the seductive thing, um, ways of being or the seductive principles you can start to use in life that you can embody so it can just become a part of you. But you want to start to use like meditation and, and law of attraction and you want to start to use these other things in life that can, you know, bring you other fruits. You know, just being able to just look at life with a different eye and being able to be one with things and being able to you know, not think so much about the how and have a desire that Law of Attraction talks about or being able to, you know, worry about health and fitness and all these other aspects of your life that are not seduction, you know, this makes you a whole rounded person. So these videos that I make, these mix of videos a week, these videos are not about pick up over relationships or relationships. So if you don't, if you want to watch it, that's cool, man. Tune in every single week because I'll give you one. If you don't want to watch it, that's cool too. But I want you to understand that life is not all about just being a man that is pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay, how do you set up a relationship? Okay, when I'm in a relationship, how do I do this and do this? That's not all of life. That's one aspect of life. But for a man, any masculine man, his mission, where he's going in life, the way he sets up his life, you know, his desire to be able to go for the things he wants, women and other things, that makes him a whole rounded man. And these mix up videos is me telling you all the things that I have learned that I want to help you guys with to help you be more of a, a, a well rounded man. <clears throat> or I'll give you like me dancing or something else like me sneaker shopping because a lot of guys talk about my good style in my videos. Whatever it may be, these mix up videos are amazing. So without further ado, I'll get into law of attraction. Law of Attraction is the thing that I believe that if you're living on this earth, you should know about. Because whether or not you know about it or not, you are using it. That's the beautiful thing about it. If you're using it and you know about it, then you're going to be far ahead of the people who don't know about it. But if you don't know about it and you're just really rolling with your feeling on things, and you're like, you know what, I feel in this situation I should do this, in this situation I shouldn't do this, then you are still working with the principles of Law of Attraction. The way I got into Law of Attraction was many years ago, I actually don't know, remember when, I started hearing these things called this, this line of you attract who you are. And I used to always be attracted to that line. It's like, man, that's a fucking good line. Um, I think the first time I heard some about it was Tyler said, RSD Tyler, he said when I was following him years ago, he said, you don't attract who you are. You, attra you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. And I was like, what? You attract who you are, not what you want then why do people want things? And I was like, ah, there must be something behind this that I need to learn. And then I started to look it up and how, whatever way that I did look it up, I don't remember in this moment, it started to really appeal to me that there was something that was working with me that could bring me things into my life faster than I, well, faster than what I was doing in, in the moment that I found out about this. And I got really, really intrigued and I got more and more intrigued. I was like, all right. And I started to do all this research and then, you know, I started to, you know, I came up on a secret at some point. And then I was reading books and I heard of a lot of attraction in books. And I, I read the book by uh, Napoleon Hill called Think and Grow Rich. And I heard about it in there. And I'm like, all right, this is, this is a beautiful thing. I don't know what it is, but I need to learn more about it. 
And as I'm learning about it, it starts to take a toll on me. And as it's taking a toll on me, I'm like, oh, this is great. You know, you attract what you want. There's things like that. Feel good now. And I wasn't really, really living from it the way I am now. I was just dabbling in it and then believing what was happening because I saw the results in my life when I pieced everything together. Then I came upon this CD set that a friend gave to me. I love you, Sam Caban, man. If you're watching this, please uh, hit me up again. Uh, I won't seek out to you, but if you seek out to me, man, we'll definitely talk. But the CD set that this man gave me, it was called Your Wish Is Your Command, and it's by Kevin Trudeau. This CD set was the CD set that changed everything for me. And if you want to go look it up and you, you think it's, that you really believe in this, go to YouTube and type in Your Wish Is Your Command uh, by Kevin Trudeau and just listen through CDs, CD set 1 through number 12. Just listen to all of them and listen to over and over and over because you start to understand how this shit show up in your life. And then when I got it, I was already like believing in it some and I really started to put it to use. And he was talking about these four basics in there, these fundamentals of law of attraction. And they still follow me today. Every single time that I want some in my experience, it follows me. And before I get into those things, and know this is me just being the messenger of his, of his work that I follow now, once I start following that, man, this is how I got this job. A lot of guys are like, how did you come into this job? I'm like, what, what I, the first thing I want to tell them is that, bro, you got to listen to the CD set. This is good. Oh, my gosh. The CD set is called Your Wish Is Your Command. And if you listen to it, I promise you'll be able to get all these amazing insights into law of attraction and being able to know about frequencies and being able to know about, you know, what you want, wants you. And, like, I, I learned all these things, but I slow down and I go, man, you know, I just really wanted to help men. And I didn't know how it was going to happen. But I knew somebody in the community would give me a chance to do that because I knew deep down in my heart that I could change the lives of men out there. What I had to offer was the best I felt. And I was like, the reason why I felt it was the best is because I came from my heart every single time I spoke something to anybody, every single time that I wanted to help somebody, I was stemming directly from my heart when I was speaking to them. And I could see how they would light up on the inside to what I would say because I had the ability to focus beneath what it is to see what they what they need help with. And every single time I did that, it brought me joy. That's where it came from, man. I, I had the desire to help. And I didn't know how it was gonna happen, but I trusted that something was gonna happen. And how did I come to that? How did I come to trust what's going to happen and don't worry about the how? These four fundamentals that he told me about. He told me about these four fundamentals in here, Kevin Trudeau, which I would say is one of my mentors in my life that I've had. And we talk so much about mentors uh, in life. And everybody thinks that a mentor is somebody that is physical. And the only people in life is mentors are physical mentors. Yes, that is one mentor. But a mentor is even people you don't know. A mentor is books. A mentor is a person on the screen, a, a, a celebrity. A mentor is... A, a athlete, the amazing athlete. These are all mentors, and it depends on your relationship to this person. How much are you believing in what they are rolling from? That will that will be an indicator of who been your mentors in your life. You have you've had mentors in your life that you don't even know was a men that you don't even know right now was a mentor. They taught you something in a moment where you needed something. You were looking for something, and something showed up in your experience to teach you that this is the thing that you need. They were your mentor in that moment because you're so aligned with what it is that they, ha that they had to show you through observation that you took it on. And that's how all you guys are probably learning now is that you're probably learning from me. You're probably learning from James. You're probably learning from Tyler. You're probably learning from Tony Robbins. You're probably learning from, you know, this guru, that guru. And anything that they have to say that aligns with you, that is a thing that just mentored you, that mentor, that part of you. So understand that mentors are not just physical people, they're everything that can teach you. Because when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So make sure that you're always open to the part of yourself that you want to develop. Because you never know how it's gonna show up in your experience to be able to give you the lesson. Now, and so I don't get into a side tangent about you know mentors, 
these four fundamentals are the things that I learned from that CD set. And of course, these are not my things because I would never say that. I would never take anybody's thing, uh, stuff and say it's mine. The first thing that he taught me in here, and I want to teach you, I don't know if you'll ever go to the CD set, is who do you listen to? And I talked about this in my commitment to growth video when I went to see Eric Thomas in Dallas, but who do you listen to? This thing itself made a super difference to my life because I was listening to people who didn't have what I want. And I knew it was a part of me like, why am I listening to this person? This person is telling me these success principles and I don't even believe them. I don't believe what they're telling me because they're, I don't see the success happening in their life. And I was super right. I was right because you listen to people who have what you want. If, some, if you're looking to go get something in life, if you want to, if you desire for something and you are looking to people who don't have that, then you're going to learn how to not get it because they don't have it. That's essentially what you'll learn. You'll learn how to not get it. But if you align yourself with people who have what you want, who have the physical uh, manifestation of what you want, or who have the intangible manifestation of what you want, meaning like, a, uh, like courage or you know, clarity or presence, any of these things, you, that's something that you can say, oh, I want to learn how to you know, be more present. I want to learn how to have more um, courage or to have more this or that. Or a physical manifestation, you know what? I want to be a millionaire or something like that. Or I want to be somebody who makes a lot of money. I want to be someone who travels the world and do it on a low budget. You got to go to somebody who's doing that and they're doing it successfully, then you can learn from them. But if you try to learn from somebody who's not doing it, it's not going to work. So what does work? What does work is listening to those who have what you want and the people who try to teach you who don't have what you want, don't listen to them. And that became a thing for me and it's still a thing for me now. I will never ask someone about something if they themselves don't have it. If, if they themselves can't give me the correct information. And how do I know if somebody's giving me correct information? It's because they have it in their own life. Anything that I ask anybody, I will always make sure that they have that first. And by them having that first, I know that I won't be led astray like I was so many times by listening to so many different people. And that can even be the same thing when you come to the pickup community. You listen to so many different people that you don't know which route to go. And I will say, trust your intuition. When you're feeling into the person that's talking, feel into, is they giving you, are they giving you something that, that's really from a lot of experience? If they, are they giving you something that you know will benefit you instead of, instead of them just saying it from their own egotistical celebration? And you want to allow yourself to tap into, okay, what is this person like? Feel into them. Allow your heart to attune to what they're doing. And I'll talk about this in um, more of my pickup videos about tuning your heart so you can be able to have emotional connection with women. But who do you listen to? Listen to those who have what you want. This will change your life. It has changed my life. I remember listening to people who didn't have what I want. And guess what? I never got what I wanted from them. I never got, I mean, like they never gave me the, route, the right route to what it is that I want. But the moment I started listening to people who did have what I want, intangible or, or tangible, that's when everything changed for me. That's when I was like, this shit actually works because the way he broke it down was so amazing in that CD set. So the first thing he taught was that. The other thing, the next thing he taught, number two, is something called Teachability Index. Because I wanted to say the third thing because they sound so similar. Teachability Index. This is being open to change and being open to learning at all moments. <sighs> this is so, 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 so good because this is the perfect student. This is what I look out for when students come on workshop. Are you open to learning and are you open to changing? And if there are, if they're both of these, they will be the perfect student. They will get more 
than they expect from the workshop. They will change a lot more on the inside. Even the, the physical manifestation of results will be very different than other students because they are just more open to learning and changing. So they, them, that in itself, the open to learn and change, they become the perfect student, which means that they are moving very rapid. The thing is that when you go into resistance to change in any moment where it's necessary, you start you, the results that you want to come into your life and whatever part of your life, it starts to slow down. The reason why I slow down is because there's something hitching it. But if you can allow yourself to just be open completely and have no resistance, it could come in more smoothly. It could come in at the time that's best for you. And that's something I had to learn as far as if I wanted to go out into life and I wanted to help man, if I want to go out to life and I, and, I, and I wanted to get the things into my life that I wanted to get, if I wanted to become the person that I knew that I wanted to become, I knew I had to be open to learning, which means that when information comes to me, I must be open to that information changing me. I must be open to the information having an effect on me. And of course, I'm always what? Listening to the information that's from people who I know can guide me. So the people who I do trust, am I willing to take on what it is that they have to teach me? This is why my growth has been so quick in life. And I'm 25 now, but I'm very, very old on the inside. It's because I've been following this. And before this, of course, I've started really early in my life with a lot of things. And I've taken on lessons very quick. But this is the reason why my growth remains so rapid is because I'm so open to learning and changing at all times. And I, who am I listening to? I'm only listening to those people who have what I want. And recently I've totally just let go of all the books and all of listening to anybody and belief systems and, and all that for a long time, since June 3rd, so I can be able to find my own truth. And that's something that's scary. It's very scary for people to let go of books because books are the thing that people go, you need to read it every day. You need to make sure you're reading a book and a book and a book and a book. But self-development without spirituality is shit. It means nothing. Spirituality is way more important than self-development. Self-development is just those minds that are before you teaching you. Spirituality is you yourself being able to align with people or align with the things that means the, uh, the truest to you. You being able to show who you are, you being able to get rid of all the things underneath that's stopping you from expressing the fullness of who you are. This is what spirituality does for you. Spirituality allows you to shed away. It's a letting go. And self-development sometimes could be a packing on. And that's why I let it go. Because I was like, I'm packing on all these things. And there's things I still need to uproot within myself. So I let all books go. And I haven't read a book, man, in a long time. I won't read a book until the end of the year. I won't. Because I want to find my own truth. I want to find my own way within by letting go all belief systems, letting go of books, letting go of borrowed knowledge. I wanted to just totally let it go. And it's been a shift for me. On the inside, I'm way different than I was six months ago. Way fucking different. I'm way different than I was June 3rd when I let it go. I'm way fucking different, man. I'm more different now even than three months ago. Because I allow myself to go, okay, these are all these things inside of me that I can still feel that's brewing and that's simmering. And it shouldn't be there. It's simmering things that are ready to react at any moment. And I don't need these things because they're no longer beneficial for me. And that's what I want you to understand is that once you become open to change and open to learning, you must be willing to change all the parts of yourself that are, that, that are called to action to change. You must be open to learning, which is when the person that you trust give you the information, whoever you uh, seek out, so to speak, if you have, you know, me, I was just giving you the book examples is for me, but you can't read books. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't read books if you want to. Let's say you do choose to read books. When the person give you the information through the book that you do have, are you willing to let go of your way so you can learn that new way of being? Are you willing to get the information so you can then let go? These, are, these two right here, these are very important. If you're open to change and open to learning, this is going to be an amazing combination. Open to change, meaning that the moment that's necessary, the moment where you feel resistance, the moment where you want to go into recoil, the moment that you want to break down, the moment that you don't want to do the thing that you need to do to change, that moment you need to stay open. 
That is the most critical moment for you to stay open if you want to change it in the way you want to change. That's the second thing. Because I'm tempted to just go deep into these and I'm not. But that's the second thing. Open to learning and open to changing, you become the perfect student. The third thing that I learned, training balance skill, which is forget about the how, the strategy, the steps, the game plan, any how-tos, forget about it. When you want something in your life, forget about the how-tos. If you focus on the how-to, you can only see what is within the range of what the universe is not showing you. You can only see that because that's on your grid. That's the only thing you can see, okay? The way for me to do this thing, the way for me to get uh, a lot of money is to do this. And I don't, sometimes I don't like to talk about money because I'm not the right person to talk about money because um, I do have great you know, managing money habits. But um, if you want to listen to somebody, it's the same thing with me. Like, if you want to listen to somebody about money, go talk to, go listen to somebody about money. But I'm just using it as an example. If you want to make a lot of money, forget about the how-to. If you want to be able to somebody that wants to get a six-pack, forget about the how-to. The how-to is only 1% of everything. It's only 1%. But the desire is 99%. The thoughts, the feelings, this is 99% of everything. You need to understand that until you make the shift from the how to primarily over to the desire, you'll always be lacking what it is that you want in your life. The desire is the reason why I'm here today doing this video. It's the reason why I have to be able to get the money to pay for the fucking camera. The desire. So many books tell you about build a strategy and do this. And I was doing this too. And do this and be able to do this. And I want to get it by this time. And, you know, once I, if I, you know, I'll make sure that every single day I'll visualize and I want to have it by this time. <sighs> When you focus on all the hows and when the timing is going to be and, you know, you stress around that, that takes you away from desire. Because when you focus on all this side over here, which is the strategic side, when you, when you just focus on this side of structure, it kills this other side of desire. When I knew I want, I mean, let me just tell you about when I wanted to become a coach, what I did. When I wanted to become a coach, this is what I did. I wrote down a list of everybody that I wanted to work for, or everybody who could give me a chance or who could mentor me. Because before I wanted to work for James, I just wanted him to be my mentor. And I was like, you know, I don't care if they give me a chance to work for them, because I'm going to do it with or without any of, these, any of these guys, these people. But I'm just going to write down everybody who I do love and I'm willing to get mentored by. And I wrote down everybody. And I just went through the list. And then I came, well, the first person I wrote down was RSD Tyler. And I went to his workshop and I saw him and uh, he gave me some information that changed my whole life. And he said things to my face that I still was like, oh man, I'm so glad just being around him gave me the transmission of what I needed to keep going in life. Because he said that I don't care what you're going to do in your life, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now, you are going to be successful whatever you do. Him looking me in the eyes and telling me that gave me all the much fucking oomph to be able to go. But it wasn't meant for me to be with him. Like the universe always do. The universe lines you up with situations, circumstances, people, events, experiences, and thoughts that are best for you. So he wasn't best for me. Then I went to daygame.com, I put in a, something for them, and you know, while I was going to them, I was like, uh, you know what, I'll try Sasha, Sasha then come to uh, Chicago, and then I went to James. And as I'm in the process of going to daygame.com, James, I noticed that I just feel a draw to be able to seek him out. And as I'm in the middle of, you know, ready for my workshop with daygame.com, me and James start to talk. And I noticed that I want James more than daygame.com. I do. I just fucking, because I started to really get sold on James when I was watching his videos. His, his mainly his uh, 21 convention videos. I was really getting sold. And as I'm getting sold on his videos, I'm like, yeah, 
I want to definitely meet this man. I want to get mentored by him. And I went and saw him, you know, shortly after our talk on Skype. Two weeks later, I met, I met him. Then two weeks later, I was in New York City trying to, you know, show him my skills, showing him that, you know, I got what it takes to be, you know, a coach. I can seduce and, you know, I'm good at this and I can, you know, I can do this. And he uh, was giving me a chance and giving me a chance. And he said that, you know, I like you and you have natural talent. And that whole time I went to see him, on the inside, I was scared. I was fucking nervous. I was scared. I was fearful that it might not work out. But, I was, but what I knew is that the universe, this is something I knew that was much bigger than me. The universe always matched me up, not with who I want, but who is best for me. They always, it always gives me what I need and what's best for me. And that's the only thing I was swung with. My desire was outwearing my fear. It was completely outwearing everything. I'm like, I know that I want to do this with or without James. I know I'm going to become this. And I was with him and, you know, and I, I loved his way of being. And I was like, fuck, this is great. And I was with him and, 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 and I came back home thinking to myself, that was great. Because he said he's going to give me a chance, but it's not for sure, but he's going to give me a chance. I'm putting in the desire. I'm putting in the work now because I have the desire. I don't have to know the how-tos about how I'm going to be able to afford the money if he says yes to me to come to Europe next year. I'm just going to do the things that I know that he told me to do, and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability, and all my desire, something will come into place. The time showed up eight months later where it was time for me to come across seas. And while it was time for me to come across seas, I, didn't have, I felt like I didn't have enough money, and I was like, oh, man, what's going to happen? And next thing you know, James goes, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, uh, you can, you can assist me. I'm gonna cover your accommodation and your travel, but you just have to cover your living. And I was like, oh my God. And it was like, it was like this, the, like the universe is fucking doing all this for me. And I'm like, oh, I was, I was like, in my mind, I was like, man, well, how am I gonna come up with the money? But you know what? Forget about the money. Something will happen that'll be able to help me in this situation. And then he gave me that message, and that's when I became a true believer. And even before that, I would be, I would be laying down and break every single day. Just visualizing, what would it be like to travel the world and help men? What would it be like to travel the world, look out the window, and just feel the breeze on my face? What would it be like to help men of the world change? And I would cry every single time. My desire outweighed everything. That's the reason why I was able to come into this job. And everything now that happens from the woman that I have to everything is because the universe is always giving me what's best for me. Fuck the how. Focus on desire. And the fourth thing is the four steps to learning the information that I'm telling you. And the four steps are <clears throat> unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know. Uncon unconscious competence. No, unconscious, no, conscious incompetence, which means that you're conscious of it, you just don't know how to do it. Then you go to unconscious competence, which is you being able to just at least, you know, go through it and learn it and you're going through the motions. Then it comes to unconscious, unco um, unconscious, uh, unconscious, and then, then it just become unconscious. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, it, it, that, all those words kind of confuse me when I'm trying to go through them. But what it is that you don't know it, you now know it, you start learning it, and then it becomes unconscious, which is me and you just living it out. That's what it is. That's basically the four steps. And I was trying to say it in a way that he was saying it, but it just didn't match up. And as I'm learning, you know, the information I'm learning, I started to do these things. Because there's things right now I didn't know, and there's things right now I still don't know. And at the time, I'm like, I don't know things, but I can learn this. Okay, now I'm putting it to work. I don't have to think about it anymore because now it's a part of me. And that's the way I see everything go in life. So you go from, you know, not being able to do it at all and not even knowing about it. To being able to do it and, it and it being a part of you without you having to think about it. And that was the thing that really, really, you know, changed me as far as understanding how I'm going to be able to incorporate this into my life at a consistent pace and how it's going to be a part of me forever is that I have to go over it, go with it over and over and over and over. And everything I do now and now stems from these four principles. And the fifth uh, principle is master all five. That's the fifth principle. I said it's four, but there is actually a fifth one, which is master all five. And yeah, man, this has just been my road of law of attraction. And it's so beautiful that once you can feel good, 
what starts to manifest in your experience. Because whatever you feel and whatever manifests is always a match. And that's something I know all the time. So people are always asking me, how are you always in a good mood? How are you waking up every single day? You're feeling good and all that because I know that feel good now. Feel good and watch what happens. As Abraham Hicks say, feel good and watch what happens. Feel good and watch what happens. Feel good and watch what happens. And every single time that I think about that, it makes me feel good. I'm like, yeah, I can just feel good and I know where I'm, where I'm at right now in my life. It's where I need to be because the universe always puts me where I need to be. Always gives me what I need to have. If I'm in a situation I don't want to be in a situation, that means that there's something from the situation I need to get, it, get from it. So I'm going to sit with this and understand that I'm supposed to be here because I've attracted this part into my experience. So I'm just going to sit with it and allow myself to uproot whatever it is that I don't want to have right now. And I learned all these things, so many different things. Like I'm just telling you just some of the things I learned, so many fucking things I learned. But these are just the things that I think that if you can start to just tune into what Law of Attraction is, your life will start to change. So the biggest thing I want you to remember is feel good and watch what happens. Do things that make you feel good and watch what happens. Listen to things that make you feel good and watch what happens. Watch things that make you feel good and watch what happens. Move your body in ways that feel good and watch what happens. Be around people who make you feel good and watch what happens. That is the thing that I can leave you with as far as this video. Now, of course, this is something where you guys are like, Tony, you're just going all the way off the charts and you're just talking about all kind of shit now. You're right. This is the mix up video of the week. I am packed with a lot of shit underneath. I am, which means that I am deeply rooted. I'm not just moving through life, just doing this grind, grind, grind. I'm not using principles of life. I'm absolutely using principles of life. And I want to share these principles with you guys. So thank you for tuning in to my mix up video of the week. This video was com completely off the walls about something different, but it's completely useful if you can start to do things that make you feel good and then forget about what's gonna happen. Just watch what happens. Imagine what happens and then watch what happens. <laughs> All right? This is your boy, Tony Solo. Saying subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I love you guys so much and I'll continue to spread my heart and my way of being with you every single